much, God will love you forever. God said, Yes, I will. Yes, I will. See, y'all was expecting us to be in the studio. Right. See? (laughs) So everything you can predict, what we're going to do, okay? We're going to keep it fresh. You know, our God is not stale. He keeps it fresh, so we keep it fresh We, because we like our daddy, okay? I'm like my father. Yes. I look like him. I act like him. I very much try to behave like him most of the time. (laughs) So we're just loving out loud. You see my shirt, L-O-L. We're loving out loud on tonight. Loving you, so we this 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 is our hearts. We we're, we're just extending out to you all on tonight. Yeah, so you know, just give us some hearts. You know, let's just give, let's just show some love to one another, right? Come on, light it up. Come Facebook. on, Come let's on. let's let's give us some hearts. We need some love, okay? Um, and and so we're just so again just excited to be just with you all on tonight, and we're just thankful for. Those that are chiming in, those that are coming in, those that will watch the rebroadcast, listen, it's all good. So share, share, share this out because you want to be a blessing, right? And we talk, we say at Behold Christian Center, we're blessed to be a blessing. And so let's bless, let's be a blessing by sharing. And you know what? Uh, There's so many good things that God is doing today. And first of all, we want to uh, say to our cameraman, which is not here today. Uh, you know, we, we want you to get better. Well, we should. We're, we're, we're believing that God is going to restore you better than normal. Yes. So, you know, you got us out here doing it ourselves. I know, so. and we miss you, but, you know, you have been such a great example. So, you know, we, we were able to kind of put something together. We, <laughs> we rigged it up, real, you know, I think pretty well, and the uh, Holy Spirit gave us the... Um, the intuition, the creativity, you know, the creative ideas and, mm-hmm. and being sure to did. be able to do it. But listen, you're not off the hook. No. You better get back here to the spot. Well. So, <laughs> <laughs> so with that being said, are you guys excited tonight? I, I pray that you guys come and, and meet us here with expectation um, with, you know, for what mm-hmm. the Lord is going to yes. do because we come expecting uh, for the Lord to just really just do something uh, in, in in our lives as yeah. well as your lives. And so I, I pray that you came with great expectation. So let's get into this thing. So we're going to open up in prayer and then we're going to just let loose. We're just going to chill, okay? So just, you know, if you're uptight, just chill out. Just <laughs> take some deep breaths. Um, yeah, just chill, just chill, okay? Um, because we're just chilling, you know. We are very laid back, pretty laid back people, and you know. And, and so let's just have some fun, okay? So, Father God, we just thank you, Father, yes. because you are God that of. Uh, you know, you have a great sense of humor, and I thank you for mm-hmm. that, and I thank you that we can have fun in you, and we thank you, God, that you're not just an uptight mm-hmm. God, and you're not just, you know, in position just to to punish yes, us when God. we err or when we do something, but you, you are always, you know, beckoning us to return. You're always telling us to come on back, come back to me. I, he always has a plan for yes, us to yes, return to yes. him. And so we're just so thankful, Father. You are the best daddy. You are Abba, Father, God. And I just love you. And I and I know those that are watching, they're loving you. 
And Father, in those that don't know to love you, Father, put it in their hearts to love you because you deserve to be loved, Father. So we just thank you for what you're going to do on this evening. Father, bless the people, God. Open up their understanding for that to you that you are um, so much bigger than what they even imagined, Father. You know, we can't come, you know, we want to be able to comprehend the length, the width, the height, the depth of you God because you are so awesome and deep but then you're just you know how to just meet us right where we are God so just meet us in our different places we are all in different stages we're at all at different levels yes. but God you know how to meet us mm -hmm. at, at that level so whatever level we're on God I thank you for meeting us right there and you just love us right there you you know and then you you love us right there and then you say come on come on let's go up so God we just thank you that we want to go from glory Glory to glory on tonight, Father. So love thank you, both. Yes, just God. thank you, thank you. I just give you glory for what you're doing, what you know, what you have done, what you're doing now, what you're going to do, Father. So we just thank you again. <laughs> we can't thank you enough. We can't praise you enough, no, right? No, and so we no, just no, thank no. you and we praise you. Up, yes, come on, let's just give them some praise and some thanks. Hallelujah. <laughs> glory be to God. And it is in Yeshua Hamashiach's name we pray. Amen. 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 If you agree Amen. with that, come on, give me some amens. Come on. Hallelujah. Come on, give me some hallelujahs. But not for me, but to the Most High God. Yes. And I want to make that very clear. It's not for us. It's for the Most High. If he is marvelous in your eyes, mm -hmm. if he's marvelous, give All it up. Glory belongs to you. Come on. All give it up to him. To give it to him. Amen. 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 So. That's one of my favorite songs. I know. Did y'all y'all heard y'all heard Apostle sing? If you better sing, Apostle. <laughs> um, and so <laughs> is 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 the B and D on? We're missing a B. Um, but he he. Well, we're not really missing him. I mean, even though you may see not see him on on camera, he's mm. present. Okay. So let's just put that. So it's not, when we say it's BBD Hill Ministries, it is BBD Hill Ministries. So we're just, um, you want to go ahead and open, um, talk about, you know, go into what we're going to talk about on tonight. So, man, it's it's just a lot of things, uh, guys, that are, that's going on. And we're just grateful for the seasons that we're coming into. Uh, and the word that we like to say is Moldine. Yeah, uh, that is a special appointment. That's a special time uh, that, you know, God is there uh, with us. It's a time that we look forward to. Uh, and these are like your Jewish holidays and different mm -hmm. things of that time. So it's special. Yeah. It's not every day. Right. Just right. like uh, when you go out and then you have a special occasion, like yeah. your anniversary. Yeah. 20 years, right? That's about 20, 20 years. Come on. <laughs> so when you have like an anniversary or something. But right. Moldine is uh, just a special time mm -hmm. that we really acknowledge who our Father is. We come before Him. It's, it's an appointment, mm -hmm. as we stated before. And we don't want to miss these times. We don't want to miss this. And there is a, a barrage of things that are getting ready to come up uh, starting in the month of August into September and also into October. So we have a lot of things that God is positioning us to be blessed. Let me say that again. God is positioning us to be blessed. Uh, but a lot of times, one of the things that we don't talk about is, is that when we are not where we're supposed to be, uh, when we're, our mindset is not where it's supposed to be, meaning that aligning up with God when we're out of position. Um, I stated before, and I've said sometimes before, that if you have a vehicle, it does require for you to have maintenance on that, for that vehicle to run properly. And with us, we have required maintenance. We cannot just keep going and going and going without getting things tuned up, without getting things checked. Because if we don't do that, then we'll set ourselves up for failure. We'll set ourselves up for struggle. So God has specifically designed times, right? Yes. He specifically divide, I mean, uh, set up more deems, more appointments deems. Mm. for us so that we can have our checkup, so that we yes. can, you know, you, get God. new tires, we can get the oil changed. Uh, to not only to us physically, but spiritually. Mm -hmm. He said, okay, I got this set up for you. I got this set up for you. And all we have to do is just be in position. And when you are in position, I mean, all we, we just stand there and we just receive it because receive. we've done all. Yeah. So after you've done all you can, yeah, that's you, know, you, you just stand. So we're yeah. in that position that said, God, okay, we've done what you said to do. And now we're just waiting. 
Yeah. We're waiting on you. And this is why we're mentioning, I know that we're going to say a word, and we're going to say it a lot on today, uh, but that word is teshuvah. teshuvah. Uh, and it is a powerful word. Uh, and you're like, Apostle, why are you guys talking about this? It's like, I'm trying to get you ready uh, for those greater things that are coming. I'm trying to get you ready to be in position so that when God starts doing what he said he will do, we'll be able to receive. Our God is a God of timing, and yes. sometimes people tend to forget right. that. People, and order, right? And order, and they, they, they just, just because... Our lives sometimes might be in disarray. Yes. God is never in disarray. Mm -hmm. He always knows what he's doing. It. He's always yes. uh, uh, on time. He's always in character, yes. right? And sometimes he does get angry, but he gets angry because we're not following what we're supposed to do. If we're doing what we're supposed to do, our Heavenly Father is smiling and yes. happy yes. Uh, up there. But we're going to talk about Teshuvah. Teshuvah. Man, big word. Yes, there, right? I love it. And so Teshuvah, meaning return and so god is always beckoning us to return unto always. him always always um the word tells us i know like i know a pop you got them right there but i just want to go right here go to um romans 8 30 and um verse 38 and 39 and so it reads for I am persuaded that neither death nor life nor angels nor mm -hmm. principalities nor powers nor things that. present nor things to come, come on, nor heights nor depth nor any other creature mm. shall be able to separate us from the love of God which is in Christ Jesus mm. our come Lord. On, come on, come and on, come so on, come on. this is the Teshuvah. So wherever you are, listen, Teshuvah, return. <laughs> there is nothing. You may think that it's over. You may think that you have been, you know, you were down for the count. Is that how you, you know, <laughs> yeah. um, Apostle always get on me about trying to do the sports analogies, but I still try to do them. And so you may feel, you know, people have maybe, you know, counted you out. People have said it's over for you. But God has said, Teshuvah. Return unto me, just like you are. Just like you are. Some of us are may have found ourselves, you know, eating with the pigs or, you know, with the slop with the pigs, like the prodigal son. But listen, it don't matter so much as where he was, but what he got the revelation to return to his father. The, the revelation sure to say, listen, I don't have to be here. He was there because he chose. But when he made a different <laughs> choice to return, on, listen, he returned. Speaking to somebody, come on now. Because he made a choice. But it wasn't just a choice. Because he could have laid there and said, you know what? I, I should go back. I could go back. But he made the decision with the follow through, the mm. work. Follow through. To mm -hmm. actually go back. And so that's what we want to talk about today. That's what we want to talk about today. This is not, and, I, and, and that's the thing I love, because the Lord has us to connect the old with the new. Come Listen, on. because it's all relative. It all works together. And so God wants you to know, Teshuvah, come on, return unto me. And so... Go ahead, because he's about to bring the deep. So, you know, I try to bring the practical, right? <laughs> and he he's going to, he's about to bring the, you know, well, I want to say bring the, no, bring the noise, bring the. So, <laughs> go, I love go it, ahead, though, go ahead. I, I love how she mentioned about the being counted out. Uh, I am mm -hmm. a, a old wrestling uh, uh, wrestle head uh, that I love the wrestling. I remember, you know, even though I knew that it was acting, but right. I mean, you know, your, your your favorite guy's getting beat up on. You think uh -huh. he about the Hulkamaniac? Uh, no, he wasn't fake. But but when you <laughs> but when you think that they're out of the yeah. count and he's like, okay, it's over, and it's like, you know, I remember that they raised their hand. It's like it's, they raise it again. <laughs> then it's like they raise it for the third time. It's like then it's also it's like it's going down and they right. go right, right. back up right. and it starts right. shaking. Uh, that's how the enemy tries to do us, right? Mm -hmm. And God is saying, hey, you're not out of it. You're in it, but return. We think about our yeah. society today and all the things that are just happening. You would just think like it's just total, just chaos. Mm -hmm. Just, I mean, just 
I can't even begin to name all the things that are happening in our society today. But God, in spite of all that, God is still saying, return to me. Yes. God is saying, return. He's tell, talking to you. He's saying, return to me. Yes. Teshuvah. That, that, that's a powerful word because he doesn't want anyone to be left behind. He doesn't want you to perish, but he wants you to have that everlasting life. But is that something uh, that you want? Is that right. something that you're willing to accept in your life? And this becomes important because a lot of times people don't want to, they, they, they just don't want it. And then things happen in their lives. They're like, okay, God, I want you. I need you. I don't know what I was thinking. Mm -hmm. It becomes a change. But Teshuvah is a return to him. It's like not only what spiritually, but physically and emotionally, yeah. all these things in our lives are lining up to him and it becomes important. So as we begin to talk about just Teshuvah, I just want to just cover a few things here. So you guys just kind of bear with me. All right. So, uh, you know, doing Teshuvah, as I mentioned about the high holidays, it can happen any single time. There's no specific time uh, that, 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 that you cannot return right. to him. So when you wake up and there's a desire in your heart, if you strayed away, you know, for the backslider, for the person that's been like, you know what, I'm no good. God is saying, yes, you are. I want you to return to me. That's why he set these things up. He's always set up a pathway. And as we get ready to come into the time of El Yul, which Ooh. is for the betterment of ourselves, yes. this is the time, once again, that the king time. Yes. is coming to yes. you. He's leaving from Ooh. the palace and he's coming into the field. He's coming into the workplace. He's coming into the hospital. Right. He's coming into the schools. All these things are just happening are things that he's doing. That's why he's saying, come on, I need for you to return so that when I come, come he said, I'm coming looking for yes. you. Because you've You've turned to him. You've returned to him in your mind, your heart, and your soul. So then now it activates something. It activates uh, 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 just the Holy Spirit to come into your life. It activates God coming and he's looking for yeah, you. He's like, yeah. where's my child? Yeah. Where's my daughter? Where's my son? Yeah, Jesus, yeah. come on, go to them. Yeah. Go. I mean, and this is what he does because he's always mindful of us. But then also, tash, uh, Teshuvah becomes powerful mm -hmm. when we get to that time of what? Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur, that in between those 10 days that we begin, it's a return there because, once again, as I said before, that God begins to renew his lease upon the earth. So he's saying, come on, get in position. Let me write your name in the book of blessings. Let me get you all situated. This is why it becomes important for us what? To return. Yes. Teshuvah. And it's just not just you returning to him, but your heart. Yes. There, there, there's, there's a different heart posture mm. that goes along with that return. That, that makes it sincere. Yes. Yes. Jesus always knew their hearts. Mm. He didn't yeah. look at their faces. Mm -hmm. Because in their faces, they was like, hey, Jesus, hey, hey Rabbi, you're, you're the greatest, you're this, you're uh -huh. that. But yeah. then <laughs> their hearts, he called them vipers. Right. They, their yes. hearts was not right. And they were looking for every opportunity to what? Get him, to get him caught up. Mm -hmm. But even though there were people looking to do that, there were people that was like, Jesus, I need you. I need, I need you. all of you. Yes. I'm here. I want you. I desire you. Yes. 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 So yes. those things definitely just became important. So Teshuvah, once again, the return. So I, I do want to can I keep going. Keep yeah. going. Okay. All right. So I want to read this scripture here. It says, but if the wicked people turn away from their sins and begin to obey my decrees and do what is just and right, they will surely what live yeah. and not die. All their past sins will be what forgotten and they will live because of the righteous things they have done. Do you think that I like to see the wicked people die? Says the sovereign Lord, of course not. I want them to turn from their wicked ways and live. Come on. Come on. That is this, a right now word. Yes. Right there. This is the God that we serve. This is the this is the true and living God. There is only one. There is only <laughs> one. And this and he is the one. And and so in that, listen, 
He is always, his plan is mm. always to get us back to him. He does not need us. He desires us. He wants Ooh, us. He wants that. fellowship. He that. wants communion you know, with us. us. Yes. And so, listen, when we test Shubat, when we return mm. true repentance, we want to truly repent. And true repentance is this, right? That I turn away from it not to return to it. <laughs> I and think so you just heard him with that. that I that's the thing. I don't that. return to it. <laughs> yeah, I, I turn away. That's what deliverance is, right? Yeah. Go ahead. And that's a true repentance. And so the thing is, it, it's all connected. And so mm. Apostle is telling us about how to te- how to return. So when all the other ap- opportunities, the more deems, the more deems, the windows, the opportunities. So when we say more deem, don't be afraid of that word. It's just a window. It's just an opportunity. It's just a time. It's appointed time by God to bless us. And so when we understand that, we understand how they all work in tandem. It, it's like a flow. God is a God of order. So we he get us ready. Return to me. Get come on, prepare. Then he takes us through the process of the <laughs> renewal of our mind through El Yul. And then we come up to the... Listen, we're, we're trying to take you somewhere. We're trying to get you to understand this thing. Even you may not totally understand it now, but come on, just stick with us. We, we want to take you through it because we're we're kind of dropping some of these, you know, Yom Kippur and Rosh Hashanah. But when those times come, we're going to go into a little bit more depth. Yes, we are. So, but we want to just show you how they all connect. You need to understand it all. Mm-hmm. It's like... Right? It's like, I don't know, like, it's just connected. And so we need it all. And I'm telling you, what, you just get excited. Even if you don't understand, get excited because this is, again, I, I, I think I say this every time. These are those hidden mysteries that have been hidden from us for so, so long. And now we're getting the understanding of these. And so we're so excited. We're so excited now that God is allowing us to share because oh, God yeah. is... For many years, he just had us to learn, and we grew in it, and and but it wasn't time to share. Yeah. And now, do you know how excited we are when we get to share release, this? Release, releases. Release. Release. So this is a blessing. Mm. So wow. Great. So I know that's good <laughs> stuff. So when we continue to think about just the return aspect and how the world uh, has really moved away from God. I think about just even in relations to Peter, uh, that when uh, in Acts, what was that, the second chapter, the 38th verse, Mm -hmm. when Peter said uh, to them, repent and be baptized, every one of you in the name of Jesus, for the remission of your sins, that ye shall receive the Holy Ghost. So once again, that was a return. Uh, When you think about Teshuvah, repentance go hand in hand with that. Uh, No one is perfect, and we're not stating that. And God didn't, there was only one perfect being, and that was Jesus. But he's saying is that when we do err, when we do have an issue, uh, that we should not just allow for that to build up, but we need to deal with that immediately. And, and, and it becomes important. I want you to think about that. If your child did something very heinous, what are you going to do? You're going to deal with them, what, immediately. You're not going to allow for that to continue because that's going to cause more and more problems and they can grow up to be something uh, that God had not designed for them to be. Well, with our Heavenly Father, yeah. He deals, I don't know about you, but I can't get away with nothing. The minute that I do something that I'm not supposed to, God, Holy Spirit gets on me so quick. I'm like, it didn't even finish leaving my mouth. It was like, okay. And so it's like God gets on me, but he knows me, yeah. right? He, he knows that when I was coming up that I had the propensity to do some things that, you know, wasn't godly. He said, oh, I'm going to deal with you. You're going to get caught. You're going to get caught with this. You're going to get caught. It's like yeah. every time I tried to do something, I got yeah. caught. That's why I was like, man, I'm not good at doing bad. I no, know. God was just pointing that. Yeah. He's like, no, you're not going. Right, so that was a blessing. And that so, was a blessing. So we look at things like, well, I couldn't get away with nothing. But that's a blessing that you couldn't get with, away with anything. That means like, that just show how much God loved you. And he just was like, you, you know, and you are aware. Because I believe that the Lord, you know, uh, speaks to you know like he speaks into correct mm-hmm. but sometimes we just don't listen yeah. and so if you were that's even more of a blessing that you had the ear to even hear him mm-hmm. even in your mass even when you okay. air you were able to hear your father saying no 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 
That was not the correct way to do that. And then in that, a lot, we know that there's a repercussion to it. There's yes. a repercussion to mm -hmm. all things, okay? Whether it's good or bad. So I just want you guys to know that. And, and, and remember that. There's repercussions to everything. And so we want the positive repercussions. Yes. We don't want our father to have to chastise positive us. Affirmations. Yes, positive <laughs> affirmations. We don't want our father to have to chastise us. But in the same token, to me, his his correction is still sweet. Mm -hmm. It's like, it's honey. I mean, it's sweet. Yeah. I mean, I, I mean, so. Because I mean, at least he's going to have mercy. Yes. Man is not going to have mercy no. on you. Mercy is going to throw, man going to throw you out. <laughs> Say, you know, well, how could you, even though they just did it, you know, to someone next to you. And how could you, how dare you? And, and but, you know, that's, I'm just, I'm just joking. I'm, I'm, I'm joking a little bit. But I just, <laughs> but God will have mercy on us. And so we just, this is why we serve him. He's just so wonderful. He's wonderful. This is the best decision we could have ever made is to serve the true and living God. So. Go ahead. That becomes powerful. Okay, let's keep going here. So, uh, there is no sin that can be, what, mended? Uh, that cannot be mended or what? Remedy. Remedy by Teshuvah. Teshuvah removes the burdensome past and opens the door to a new future. It means renewal, rebirth. So, this is something that happens, guys. So, God is saying, come on, I'm always making a way for you to come to me. Uh, and she, and it was so awesome you brought that up about the prodigal son. Mm -hmm. I mean, he was so far gone, but there was still in his mind, he said, my father's servants eat better than Come this. on. And he was like, no, <laughs> what am I doing? Because, see, pride will keep you back from it. Embarrassment will try to keep mm -hmm. you back from it. Ooh, but on, God is saying, I don't care about that. I just want you. I want you. I just want you. So that's the powerful part with that, is that no matter what we've done, no matter where we've been, he's making a way for that. And the enemy will try to keep the shackles of those things mm -hmm. on you. But it's like, no, 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 no. We're not even going to go there. Uh, what, 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 what they say, the, the actual motorcycle, no, 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 no. <laughs> no so so we're, we're, we're not doing that. If anybody tries to put the shackles back on you, mm -hmm. you're like, I rebuke you right. in the name of Take Jesus. Take the Lord, rebuke I'm you. Not, no. You are not doing that. You but are not yeah. putting that back on me. So yeah. these things just become so important. So, guess what? Ooh. As we continue in this time of Teshuvah, like I said, God gives us plenty of time. Not, not when I say not plenty of time, but he gives us time because tomorrow is not promised mm -hmm. to us. So you always want to make sure that if there's breath in your body, that if you're able to speak or think a thought, that you go into that time of God, I'm sorry for mm -hmm. the things that I may have done that isn't right. And God, I, I'm, I'm returning to you. Mm -hmm. I'm returning to your ways. I'm being committed to you in my heart, in my mind, in my soul, God. I just want the essence of me to be about you. I want to be a reflection, Lord God, of what you are casting. So this, these are things that becomes important for us. So let's continue to talk about just the Teshuvah and the negative impact that it has. So give me one second here. Yes. I miss my cameraman, but it's all right. Yes. We're making it happen. Listen. So once again, sin, of course, is time consuming. Just think about <laughs> it. The, the, the actual plot to do something wrong, right? right. The, 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 the premeditated right. <laughs> thought, trust me, you didn't been, don't act like right. you guys just came in flowing. Yeah. You premeditated some things yes. to do that you knew that was wrong. Mm -hmm. And in the spite of doing that, like I said, I got caught. So when I got caught, not only did I spend time premeditating, but then the penalty of the mm. sin was what caused me to either be in punishment, to have something taken away. Mm. I mean, all these things were things that uh, just kind of consumed and I was like, it it wasn't worth it. No. It just made it was like, okay, so just for a moment of pleasure, mm. I got huh. a just lifetime a of pain. Just a moment. Or months of headaches mm -hmm. because I chose to go what out of bounds. Mm. Ooh, God said, good. you know what? Good. Stick to the play. But I, I went out of bounds. And when I did that, it just took me and derailed me to a whole other position. So let's get into this. Sin is time consuming. It is evolutionary process. Man does not what? Fall at once. So when I was doing my stuff, it wasn't all of a sudden, right? So he right. is trapped by one wrong act or attitude, mm -hmm. often seemingly harmless, which leads to another. 
When failing to recognize and stop this process, a chain reaction is set into motion and leads to what? More evil. More. And, and that's the thing is about sin and flesh because the, the sin, sin caters to the flesh and the flesh is a black hole. It's never satisfied. And that's why we go from error, if we don't deal with it, we go from error, <coughs> sin, to iniquity because it, you know, it it was pleasurable, with, it pleased the flesh, and so the flesh is like, I want more. Give me more. And so <laughs> any, if we look at, or, you know, think about any time we were, you know, in that place of sin, we, it progressively got worse, right? You started with stealing the snicker bar, and then as you know, you were, you know, stealing the clothes, and then you were still, you know, the cars. And, I mean, now you're trying to get a bank. Right. It's like, <laughs> it, it progressively gets worse because it's never satisfied. So when you try to appease it, then it says, no, now give me more. Feed mm -hmm. me more. Feed me Feed more. Feed me, see more. Feed me. Mm -hmm. And so that's the thing. You just starve that flesh. That's why the word tells us to kill it. Starve it. Say, shut up. You ain't get nothing to eat. Die. Okay? And so that's what we do. And this is Teshuvah. When I return, when I return to God, after God has brought me out of that, listen, you're not returning on your own. God has given us the strength to return, okay? And then he's, he's given us the strength to maintain. And so I'm able to, this good work he's begun in you, he's able to perform it, okay? He's able to keep it. He's able to maintain it. He's able to keep you. All you have to do is want to be kept and follow through. It takes work. And that's where we fall short is when we don't want to put in the work. We don't want to put in the work. I want to think, I want to be free. But it's going to take too much work. I'm going to have to sacrifice too much. And so in that, <laughs> Teshuvah, return, drop all of that, and come and get God's grace. You, you, you know, you're settling for less. You're settling for God, for less than what God has for you. And God is saying, drop that and come and get what I truly have in store for you. So... So the actual powerful part is, guys, that I wanted to touch bases on. When I showed you the last one, I showed a domino effect, and that's how sin is. It just keeps keeps moving, keeps going. And it's like, when is it ever going to stop? But God said through Teshuvah, I'm breaking this. I'm mm -hmm. stopping this. So this is the prime opportunity for us. Whoever you are, whatever you do, you're like, how do I get out? I'm spiraling. God is saying through Teshuvah, if you return to me, it stops it. It breaks it. It stops the curse. It's, it, 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 I mean, it just it just sets us up uh, for success. When we what? When we return to him, this is important. It's so important. And I don't want you guys to miss this because of the special things that are coming up that God is doing for us. In Amen. these more demons, in these special times. So we're just going to keep on going with this. Bear with me for a second here. So with that being said, uh, as um, and I think I should probably show you guys this. This, this is definitely good. I'm going to show you guys this one. Give me one second here. We're going to show this. So as Teshuvah is not part of a gradual process in development, it is not subject to what any order to... To the, to the bureaucracy yeah. of a normative procedure, <laughs> it is a jump, a leap, a momentary decision to tear oneself away, one term, one thought. Oh, so this oh. is powerful that Teshuvah is, is that, you know, we, we it's, it's like, okay, I'm done. Mm -hmm. Have you ever said that you're done with something? Like, I'm not doing it no more. That's it. I've had enough. Well, this is how it is. This is a leap where we're moving from a sinful way to a godly way. Yes. Uh, we're, we're, we're just moving in our mindsets. And it's not just a thing by words. Because sometimes yes. we'll say I'm moving. Mm -hmm. But you physically ain't moved. 
Right. You spiritually ain't moved. But this is when you know that that's why he knew the heart. That's why I'm going to talk about that even more, about the heart. That for Teshuvah to be successful, your heart has to be in the right place. Because if your heart is in the right place, you will make that leap. Yes. You will make that jump. It's like you will run through a brick wall to Come get on. to where you need to go because to your heart is right. Wall. Nothing is going to stop you. Yes. And there's no looking back. You're like, uh-uh, 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 this is it. I'm done. I've, I've had enough. Come on. But this is when Teshuvah Come is Come on, true. sick and tired of being sick and tired. Yes. Anyone. Anyone, I have been there, sick and tired of being sick and tired. And that, that's something that is very powerful there. So once again, as I mentioned about the change of heart, uh, the remorse to move forward, uh, to mm -hmm. just really confront those things that we struggle with, those things that we deal with that keep us, try to keep us away. Mm -hmm. There are many things. I mean, there are believers, there are our pastors, there are leaders that they struggle with things that try to keep them away from God. But we have to, one, go before the altar. We have to be in his presence. And as we get closer to these this end time, uh, this, 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 these, these moral deems, God is coming closer to us mm. and closer to us. I mean, and it's like he's saying, I'm here. I'm here. I'm right here. I'm right here. Will I'm right you make the choice? Will, Will you, you make, make the, the choice? choice to receive me? And, and that's so powerful. The true and living God wants us to receive him. He does. He wants us. Will he, you make the choice? He wants you. He wants. He wants you. You. You think you, it, it's people that won't even answer the phone if you call. Mm -hmm. yeah. Human, other humans, and I'm, the creator of the universe. I'm sorry, I've done that before. I look like <laughs> I don't feel like talking. I'm sorry. <laughs> Not current. Right. <laughs> But in the past, I said, I have to be delivered. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, don't, don't, don't be like, no, no, you, 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 all, you all know. It, it's but all right. God <laughs> always answers. He always picks up. He always picks up. So this is the thing that I, I do want to show you guys and kind of we're closing out here. So it's important for us to rend our heart and not your garments, mm. right? And return unto God for God, for your God, for he is gracious and compassionate, long-suffering, and abounding in kindness. It's important that we do that. Don't go through all the theatrics. That's good. Right and your here. heart still ain't where it needs to be. Whew. You know, we, we have people that are just doing all these different things, but their heart is not in the right place. Their heart posture isn't in, into a place of return with him. Mm -hmm. And this is where we're missing out. Uh, this is where we're becoming lost, even within the church. Mm -hmm. So don't be in this position. God has laid out the red carpet for you. He's yes. laid out a way of return oh, for the you. red carpet. It, 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 it doesn't matter how, how money you are or dirty you are or mm -hmm. whatever your situation is or whatever your uh, past was. But if you are sincerely seeking a change mm -hmm. then we say Teshuvah. Teshuvah. return unto him just return just return just return and so i i pray that you just this resonates with you i pray i just speak just return into your life um that you will return you will return to him and and that doesn't mean that you just straight away you know, you may need to return to giving him all of all of the, you know, the things that you're going through. You may need to return and, you know, so so you can return to peace and you return to joy. And so this is not just for the backslider. This is not just for the one that, you know, um, has not given themselves over to the Lord. But this is for us all. We yes. all have errors. We can return. We, you know, we. We've gotten, we've, we what, stepped out of bounds. Like you mm -hmm. said, I like how you, you put that, Apostle. And, and so now we need to be put back. You know, we need to return back to our first love, right? Um, come on, come back to our first love. And so I just pray that you are blessed by this. And just make sure you share this. Send this out to someone. Someone, you know, we're in a, a you know, the culture 
Um, and I'm talking about the church culture. And it, 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 it's, if I didn't know the Lord, if I didn't know about him the way I do, it would be very terrifying because yeah. it just looks like the people of God don't seem to need God. Um, I, I mean, and I could just say it just simply as that. And, 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 it, and it's just like, I just always think of situations like this, just like naturally how I would just, you know, someone just constantly, you know, I constantly give and give. And then that person constantly just, you know, receives and takes. And then once they get what they want, they walk away and then they do whatever they want. And then when they need me again, they come back. How would you feel that's, that's if, good. if, that's if good. someone did that to you, you, you would be, you would feel dishonored and disrespected and all those things. But we don't consider God because what we feel like, oh, well, God, he good. He know my heart. I don't even understand where it comes from um, about he knows my heart. Yes, he knows that you're disobedient. He knows that you're dishonorable. He knows that you're disrespectful. He knows that you don't want to, you, you know, you don't want to obey. And so the next time you are ready to say something like that, Think about that, your what motive. Think about what you're saying. Think about your motive. Are, is, are you say, making a statement like that because you want to continue to do what you want to do and you want God to somehow be okay with your decision? Or is it that you truly desire a repented, you know, to a return to the Lord? So just check your motives and, 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 and check your heart. And this is what this Teshuvah is about. Checking your heart. Heart check. Heart check, yes. <laughs> heart check. And so let's check our hearts. And so and let's honor God. If he is marvelous in your eyes, if he is who he says he is, if he if you really truly, truly understand that your the breath is in your body. That's borrowed breath from him. Mm. Let's return. Let's stop getting entangled in the world. And I'm just talking to the people of God, right? You know, right now. Speak to but let's stop looking like the world. If I if I'm looking, can't tell I can't the tell the difference. From believers to people that are uh, no. non-believers. And and we're supposed to be peculiar, not similar. And so I'm saying this because I love you. I, I'm saying this out of a place of love and not out of a place of mocking. Because the thing is, there's going to become a day of reckoning for us all. And let's be in a position that we can don't have to go before the Lord ashamed. We're so concerned about who knows our things, the humans. Oh my goodness. A human will keep us in bondage because we so afraid of what they're going to say, what they think. <laughs> oh, they're going to know that person left me. This happened. And they have no control where your, where your soul rests eternally. But God, we just act like he's a human. So let's change that. Let's test you why. Let's respect him let's honor him as the god the sovereign god mm. he is and so i just pray that that blessed you yes and i just want you to share that out and i just love you i love you and that's why we're so excited about sharing these things and sharing this revelation and sharing this information you because heard of that right because we want you to get this Get it, grab it, embrace it. Man, embrace it. Run with this thing. <laughs> Let it transform your life as it has ours. You know, and I mean, life is, you know, we have challenges too. We have, you know, just like everyone else, but because of God's word and because of his promises and because of his faithfulness, it humbles me to be faithful. So, with that being said, I just I just want you guys to get this. So if I mean like if we have, you know, if this this broadcast has been a blessing to you, if you have heard something that truly blessed you, please, you know, contact us. Um DM us. 
um, email us. Okay, we want to hear your experiences. We thank you. We thank those that have responded. Thank you for your um, feedback, your comments. We appreciate it. And if it's something you want to know, you know, you've heard, you, someone said something, but you didn't really understand it, let us know. I mean, if it's some, a topic that you want to, find, you know, learn more about, I mean, that's what this is about. I mean, we're talking about... Uh, a lot of the appointed times, but we're going to talk about other things as well. Mm -hmm. Just keep, just stick with us. We're gonna deal with some, some, some things, okay? Um, and, and it's because there is death, and, and there is death that God has put on the inside of us, and so we want to share that. And so, just let us know. Connect with us um, on the different um, what social media platforms. Like Facebook um, at BBD Hill Ministries. Follow us on Instagram, BBD Hill Ministries. Okay, and 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 just let's connect. I wait, wait, to... hold on. We got one more. We are on YouTube. We on YouTube. So go to YouTube, like, share, subscribe Sus on there. Thank we you. are trying to get to a hundred subscribers. So please come on. Uh, just come on, help us in this journey as we as we plan to not get to but exceed yes. 100 subscribers because we just started it. So go there. There's going to be some content that will be there that will not be on Facebook, especially as we come into LU. You don't want to miss that because we're going to be coming for what uh, almost every day coming in there. So that is some things that are coming up. So some will be here on Facebook and then some will be there. What? It might be on Instagram. Mm -hmm. You might see some on YouTube. So all those things will be there where God will have us to you know, bless you guys with what he's given every single day as what the king comes into the field. Yes. We're going to elaborate on those things even more. Go ahead. Baby. Thank you. Thank you, Apostle, for uh, kicking in and helping me there. Um, so, yes. So go over to YouTube, you guys. Subscribe, like, share, let, you know, and comment and let us know. We, we you know... That encourages us, and um, we just, you know, we're, you know, we're expanding just like you are, and we want to continue to expand BBD Hill Ministries, okay, in different areas. And so, if we have been a blessing to you, and you feel the Lord is leading you to be a blessing monetarily to this ministry, that you want to see more, you want to see more content, you want us to go deeper, you want us to go you know, to take you to different locales and locations and to do different things. We have a lot of things and we want to bring you some, I, you know, things and we're in the process of getting some um, special things created for you to help you understand what, you know, a, God's timing, God, he's more things, okay? Mm -hmm. and, and so we want you to truly learn and we understand that, you know, a lot of us are visual learners and it, it, it helps when you have something tangible to hold and to read. And so we want to bring that to you. So if you feel the Lord, you know, blessing you to be a blessing, to sow into this ministry, you know, obey him, obey him. And you can sow via cash app um, at dollar sign BBD Hill. Also, via Zelle at BBD Hill Ministries at gmail.com. And you'll see this popping up on your screen. So you'll be able to screenshot it as well if I am speaking too fast, okay? Also, we take PayPal. For example, PayPal is accepted at BBD Hill, okay? Um, and if you are... You know, you're old school, you don't want to deal with the electronic way methods of, uh, of giving, then you can mail um, a check to BBD Hill Ministries at 21200 South LaGrange Road, number 362, Frankfort, Illinois, 60423, okay? And so, um, we'll just pop all that up again. So, you, if you did not get an opportunity to screenshot, so you can. But we thank those that have been 
um, sewing into the ministry. We appreciate you so much. And, yeah. and, um, and so we're going to be, I, I cannot wait. Like, I want to talk about what's coming, but I have to wait. But I'm telling you, you guys. So this is good ground. And if you have been blessed, so into this good ground that we can bring more, that more can grow from this ground. And this is why we have to start with Teshu Vah today. Yes. Uh, return unto him. Uh, that there are so many things that he set aside uh, to put us in a better position, to bless us, our going and our coming. But we have to make sure that we at least return to him yes. and that's the starting process yes. so with that being said I believe that's, that's it. It. That it that's it so we thank God uh, for the up and coming more deans. we thank God for what has already happened because we've already had uh, 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 Shabot and Pisha so we have those two different things that have come already and we thank God for what's coming up it is once again a special time of the year that is coming as we go into the new year so with that being said this is BBD Hill Ministries we love you guys, and we're out. Shalom.